Hey there, Elisa here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk through the product management process and go through it with a real life example. And I wanna do this for a couple reasons. First of all, a lot of people out there are really interested in product management. However, they don't necessarily understand all that goes into being a product manager. So I wanna talk through the product management process. Another reason why I'm making this video is because I want to talk through a real feature request that I have for the Apple and iPhone product management team and I desperately want them to hear this video and build the feature that I want. Please. For those of you who are new here, Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Elisa and I'm a principal product manager in the tech world. And in this channel, I provide general career advice and content specific to product management in the tech world. So if you're interested in any of that, please subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, you can like this video too. I really don't mind if you do that. In this video, I am going to pretend that I am part of the iPhone product management team. Now, before we even dive in, I just have to say, I am a huge fan of all things Apple products. I have a lot of them. I have a MacBook, an Apple mouse, an iPhone, and two AirPods. So it's safe to say that I am a very big fan of the Apple product suite. However, I do have one issue with iPhones. There is no way to mark your messages as unread. Why is that? It causes me so many headaches because I'll read a message and I don't respond right away and then I completely forget and I swear the lack of this feature has actually cost me friendships. And it's frustrating because I feel like this feature should be pretty straightforward. You could press down on the message and when you hold down on the message right now, it kind of pops up an overlay. So it shows you the preview of messages and then it currently has these options that you can choose from. So this is kind of current state of what you can do currently on your iPhone. So what I propose is we just add a little bit of something here, mark on red and maybe even a snooze. Now, this wouldn't have to actually, you know, tell the cell carrier that the message is not read. That doesn't matter. This is just like a UI reminder thing for customers. So I personally have wanted this feature for a long time, but unfortunately, as a product manager, you don't necessarily just build the features that you want to build. You actually need to validate that you are solving a real customer or market problem, and you need to make sure that that feature would be in alignment with your company's strategy. Now, for this feature idea that I have, the ability to mark messages as unread, I think that the customer desire is there. The company strategy, I'm less sure about, but we'll cover that in a bit. Let's start with the customer needs. Now you probably know by this point that product managers need to build features and products that actually solve customer problems. If you don't do that, then your feature or your product is not going to be successful. So I have done my research and I've come to see that a lot of people online are trying to figure out how to mark messages as unread in their iPhones. I've also seen that there are some hacky workarounds out there that people have built to try to accommodate this missing functionality, which means that there's enough need for that functionality that people are trying to find solutions on their own. I even did some customer interviews with friends and family to try and figure out if they also had a need for this functionality. And I asked them to walk me through a time where they read a message and then forgot about it. And as they talked more and more about it, it was clear that this is a real problem that people are experiencing. Now, if I was part of the iPhone product management team, I would probably go even a step further and do a lot more customer interviews with people and maybe even shadow some people as they use messages on their iPhone. 
After doing all of this research, I would probably find the following problem statement. People forget to respond to messages when they read a message and don't respond right away. And this can lead to damaged friendships, missed appointments, or lost opportunities. Now, as an iPhone product manager, I want to make sure that I'm not focusing on the solution, the solution of marking messages as unread, but rather I want to focus on the problem statement. And I want to do this because there might be better ways to solve the problem than just marking messages as unread. Maybe there's a way to snooze messages and they'll ping you again in an hour. Or maybe you can have a remind me later feature where you say remind me in three hours or remind me tomorrow at 10 a.m. There might be a quick solution out there that the engineers could build in one day that would solve customer problems even better than marking messages as unread. So again, it's important for product managers to really hone in on the problem customers are experiencing rather than focusing just on a solution. So. The product management team for the iPhone can probably assert that there is a customer problem out there. However, that is not the only information you need when you're trying to determine what features you want to build. You also need to make sure that a feature is in alignment with company strategy and possibly need to make sure that a feature has a positive ROI or return on investment. Now. This is the area where I think this feature might not make the cut. You see, I think there's a lot of people out there who really want this feature, but I don't necessarily think that people are going to stop using iPhones because they can't mark messages as unread. iPhone has created this crazy product ecosystem. So the idea that marking messages as unread is a critical feature that if left undone could lead to attrition is not likely. Yes. It's a nuisance, but will it make me stop using iPhones? No. So my guess is that the business value might not be there to build in this functionality to have a mark as unread feature or a snooze or remind me later type of a feature. So it's probably really hard for the iPhone product management team to prioritize this functionality when there are a myriad of other features that they could build that would also solve customer problems and could also be more in alignment with company strategy. But here's the thing, to counter everything I was just saying. Apple is amazing for many reasons. They build great products and have an amazing product ecosystem. But there's one more reason why people love Apple, and that is because Apple often builds features that have a sense of surprise and delight. They build things that are so intuitive and creative and make the user really fall in love with their products. And when I reflect on some of their more recent features, especially the features related to messages, I can see that a lot of those features are just surprise and delight features. They're nice to have things that make using an iPhone extremely fun and intuitive for the iPhone customer base. That's what keeps us loving Apple products. They are extremely useful, they do a great job, they have amazing functionality, but they also have little bits of surprise and delight that just make it fun to use those products. So, if I were a product manager on the Apple product management team, I would advocate that we prioritize functionality to solve this problem. There's customer need for it, and it would be a really nice surprise and delight feature for iPhone users. Now, obviously, there are a gazillion factors that go into prioritization, and 99.9% .9 of those I do not have insight into at the moment. So I trust the iPhone product management team to do what they do best. But knowing what I know, doing the research that I've done, again, I would prioritize this feature. So there you have it. We just went through the process of product management. We talked about a problem that customers might be experiencing. I had a hypothesis. I talked about how I validated that it's a real customer problem. We talked about how you need to align that feature build with company strategy and generally ROI. And then I finished up with the talking about my prioritization recommendation. I hope this was interesting for you. And if you're struggling to really understand what product managers need to do, uh, I hope this was helpful and gave you some insight into what product managers have to 
figure out in their roles. If you like this video, please press that thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to hear more content from me, please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for listening. I truly appreciate it. And I will talk to you next time. Bye, friends.